Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and I will teach you today how to insert a table in a PowerPoint presentation. All right. Well, I will be teaching it to you in three ways, three ways of inserting a table. Uh, it's very, very good tool. It can help you in making your PowerPoint presentations more expressive and illustrative. So to insert a table, first of all, we need to go to the insert tab. Click on this table icon and then you can choose how many columns would you like to have in your table and how many rows would you like to show. See, as soon as I'm hovering my mouse over this table, it is automatically representing the same information on the right side in the PowerPoint presentation. Say, for example, I want to show the data of six months for say seven people all right so i choose this uh in the table and selection box and press and tap on my uh, keyboard done and here it is now I, we can simply change the colors from here very very easy thing to do and you can enlarge your table from here and you can type in say Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June. And then you can fulfill data. All right. Now, in the next video, I'll be teaching how to use these options and these options. Really, really good things. But before that, let me complete my promise that I'll be teaching you three ways to insert a table. So we can delete the table by simply clicking on the corners and clicking on delete. Now the other way of inserting a table is on us uh, by clicking on this icon in the slide itself. You click on this, a dialog box will open which will ask you how many columns do you want and how many rows. Columns are, uh, are goes from uh, go from left to right and rows go from top to bottom. So I want say detail for three months. January, February, March. So I will type in three columns and I want details for say 10 people and I'll type 10. So it has 10 columns, one, oh, sorry, three columns, one, two, three, Jan, Feb, March and for 10 people. <laughs> That's another way how to delete it. Okay, we bring our cursor to the corner, keep it over there and press delete, it goes. Now the third way of inserting a table is again clicking on this table icon and clicking on insert table. It will again open up a similar dialog box which you saw last time and you can enter the details over here and press OK. <laughs> so this is how we insert a table. I hope you liked it. So until the next video wherein I would be teaching how to use the options over here. This is your Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead.